Just how difficult a task police faced in trying to capture the gunman became clear today when reporters were allowed into Aro Moana. The township is a cluster of small homes dotted among sand hills and scrub. Ideal terrain for a gunman who knew the area well. David Gray began his murderous onslaught near the simple house he lived in. First, neighbour Gary Holden's house was set alight. Gray's motive is not clear, but it's known that he believed he had caught the Tapanui flu from the Holdens and was upset about this. Gary Holden's bullet-ridden body was found near his burnt-out house. His 11-year-old daughter and the daughter of his partner were staying with him at the time. The two young girls are still missing, but police now believe they may have perished in the house fire. The fire burned out of control for hours because the fire brigade was turned back when the police heard the shots. Nine bodies were found close to Holden's house. It's likely the raging fire attracted them into Gray's deadly trap. Detective Sergeant Paul Knox, along with murdered policeman Stu Guthrie, was one of the first on the scene. Knox says Guthrie was observing the gunman and reporting his position over the radio. But then Guthrie lost sight of the gunman. He was in the process of telling us about uh, his lack of vision, so far as the offender was concerned. And then he continued with a warning to someone who was approaching him. Uh, to stop or he would shoot. Um, at that stage uh, I left the radio, I knew something was going to happen. I was running to where another colleague was positioned and I heard the volley of shots. Was that person approaching him the offender? Well it could only have been. What sort of weapon did he have? Guthrie? Uh, Sergeant Guthrie had a 38 pistol. Do you think he was caught by surprise? The yes. Saw the guy yes. Um, I think, given the position where Sergeant Guthrie was found, uh, the offender suddenly appeared and he had little time to react. It was nearly a full day later before police cornered the gunman. And this is where the gunman David Gray's rampage finally came to an end. When police checked this property, they noticed a broken window. When they investigated further, the gunman fired a volley of shots at them. They um, uh, immediately returned fire and um, took cover. They um, began to, the, the cover that there was immediately available was a, a shed that was in the front of the building. And from the other side of the shed, they um, threw uh, tear smoke and then um, again approached. And as they did so, there was a further volley of shots and um, the offender emerged from the uh, building um, shooting and they had no option. They were confronted by him, had no option but to defend themselves. Did he say anything? Um, there was some shouting. Um, I'm not aware of exactly what was said. Police have now confirmed that David Gray came out of the house yelling, come on you bastards, kill me. In the shootout that took place, at least 50 shots were fired. A few minutes later, David Gray was dead. Mark Jennings, Three National News.